hello friends today i'm going to show you another product this is made in india they call it as a samsung galaxy s10 plus dome glass like the white stone dome glass which used to cost around 5000 rupees in india with but uh, with a very good quality i have used that on uh, my note 9 and you have seen the video for the galaxy s9 i have done it how to install it but i found this product in india and uh, it is only 700 rupees and we will go and open this and use it on a galaxy s10 plus and we'll see how is the installation as compared to the white stone dome glass and how is the tempered glass as compared to the white stone dome glass so why wait my friends let's open this up so inside the box if you see here there are two wet wipes and one dry wipe as it is mentioned here and uh, also the tempered glass is inside here but my friends when i opened this tempered glass i saw that uh, this is not a curved tempered glass as you can see it is uh, slightly curved on this edges as you can see here it is slightly curved but not like the dome glass so i am thinking that uh, there might be some changes if we install it let's see so as the dome glass used to come the white stone dome glass used to come with uh, glue this also comes with a glue and i don't know why they have uh, this is a closed glue it is totally closed as you can see here there is no way to open this i suppose we have to put a pin inside here to open this up because uh, dome glass so white stone used to give uh, open box like that and the both sides the uh, adhesive is very having very easier to install those adhesives so here we can see here these are the uv lamp as compared to the white stone uv lamp that i have here this is a very powerful one and if we see this uh, uv lamp if i connect it let's see if i connect this uv lamp and we'll see what is the difference here so i'm not finding any connection here so it uh, works i suppose uh, i suppose this works let's hope it works i don't think that it will work yes it is having a glow but the uv lamp is very low as compared to the white stone one if you see this you will lamp but then you will understand what i'm talking about see the glow of the uv lamp is very high as compared to this one the glow is uh, okay i think it will break the glow is very low okay it's not connecting yes the glow is very low so i will use the white stone one and uh, i'm also thinking to use uh, the white stone uh, uh, adhesive as compared uh, to this adhesive because uh, i don't think that uh, this adhesive will be that good uh, let's see what happens so we have to put the phone here in this tray in this way better if you remove the cases it is very easy because if anything extra uh, moves out here you it will be easier for you to remove it i will suggest you to do it on this tray but uh, once you put the glass it will be very slippery so you do it on the plain surface white stone used to give a case nice fitting nice thing but let's see what this does so first of all my friends we have to remove the company provided uh, screen protector here so i will show you see this is the screen protector here we will shut down the phone totally turn off the phone and remove this sticker as you can see this is the film and it will be very easier for us also to install it because 
there won't be any dust particles inside here so we will keep this aside and uh, as you can see there are some uh, adhesive here uh, the remaining adhesive of that particular screen protector that was given by the company let's open one wet wipe and wipe it up totally this is a trial video let's see what it happens so as you can see i have used the wet wipe totally on all the sides to remember to use it on all the sides and do remember to keep this wet wipe with you because uh, if you want you have to like uh, clean the excessive adhesive that comes out of the sides okay to remember to keep it with you so as you can see uh, still there are some remaining uh, adhesive from the old screen protector here are also the same thing so i suppose i have to give it a, another clean with the different adhesive cleaner like uh, the cleaning cloth from uh, spigen or the cleaning wipe from the spigen we'll use this and see what happens So this is the very good quality one this usually we use to clean all the DSLR lens and uh, it gives a good clean as compared to the other alcohol wipes and uh, let me check on all the sides let me skip this part for you because I think uh, this video will become very long because this is my first time installing with a different type of dome glass so now I'm using the dry wipe to dry off all the alcohol contents that was given or spread by the lens cleaner as you can see now the display is totally clean here there is no dust particles on top of the display if you have any doubts about the dust particles then you can go through with another swipe but uh, it's totally clean here so as you can see here i have cleaned the display perfectly there is no dust particles on top of the display now we will put this uh, adhesive on top of the display and since uh, this is a very less amount of uh, screen guard so i will put very less amount of uh, adhesive on top of the screen so why wait for friends let's So as you can see the I have dropped uh, each and every drop of the adhesive on top of the display now so there is nothing left here now very carefully do check the display again because while dropping the adhesive if i would have dropped some dust particles it will stay under the display so we will take very careful steps now here how to install it and we'll see what happens next do remember to keep your alcohol wipe ready because i think some adhesive will move here and there so we will keep the adhesive in the center of the display now 
now I will slowly drop this tempered glass on top of this so as you can see I'm slowly dropping it out actually I'm aligning it also in the meantime and I'm dropping it so as you can see it takes a few minutes few seconds to move all the adhesive to all the sides of the display as you can see here the adhesive is slowly moving everywhere give it some time it takes some time to move so as you can see here there are some excess uh, excess adhesive falling out from this side so be very careful about it do have patience my friend this all should go inside or else uh, it will be a problem later on because without the adhesive <coughs> it will not work so the adhesive now is perfectly aligned now we will use this UV light to to like check uh, what is residuous adhesive in here let me check if there is some adhesive needed we need to put some adhesive extra in here or else it will remain like that so that will be a problem later on let's see the adhesive is let's hope the adhesives are inside the screen and under the tempered glass okay so now we will go through a UV treatment 30 30 seconds let's hope everything is work perfectly so in this way it is done I have done a bit DIY 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 because I thought that uh, that might be needed 30 seconds on top and 30 seconds on bottom Thirty seconds on middle. Let me skip this part. Now you have to use the alcohol wipe to wipe any excessive uh, adhesive on top of the display or anywhere that uh, you want to remove. You can do it in this way using the alcohol wipe. Just remove it. Take the phone and uh, remove it. Okay, now give it a go another time, like another a minute or so. I will skip this part. So as you can see, I'm still curing the tempered glass here uh, using the dome glass UV lamp, and I have already done. Uh, 30 seconds on top 30 seconds on below now I'm doing the middle one after that we will give a very good clean of all tempered glass using a alcohol wipe or you can use a new alcohol wipe to clean everything for perfect finish you can go ahead for a one one minute all top of everywhere 
so as you can see the tempered glass is totally installed but uh, I haven't given a good very good clean here we will use a soft fiber cloth like this and uh, clean it up as you can see you have to clean the whole display perfectly before checking it out and uh, I suppose the installation is really nice because I feel that the installation is really nice in the hand let's boot the phone and check it out and I'll tell you because uh, dome glass installation is very different than this one so some of the adhesive has gone <laughs> below the phone so I have to clean those off also so let's boot the phone first the phone is switching on that means everything is fine so let's give it a minute it takes a time to switch on the phone so as you can see it is perfectly installed uh, let me open the gallery and I so as I told you in all the videos to check how you should have a very wide screen to check it out any bubbles or dust particles inside the tempered glass or not so as you can see here the tempered glass is installed perfectly there is no dust particles here as you can see here and the tempered glass you are able to see or not let me focus it perfectly as you can see this is the tempered glass so that's all my friends thank you for watching i will link this product uh, in the description below so that you can buy it and check it out yes i haven't used the glue that the company gave in to me i will ask that company that uh, you should give a hole here for for easier drop of the glue because the dome glass used to give this type of glue i use the glue because glue doesn't matter what glue you're using the glass is important so i didn't use this if you are going to use this glue then my friends you have to like use a pin to make a hole here and uh, on top of it as i remove the uh, glue in that way you can remove it so if you have any doubts feel free to ask in the comment section my friends do subscribe the channel and i know this this video was very long but uh, for perfect installation you have to take around 10 to 15 minutes to do this and since i was recording so it took a bit long because i wanted it to be perfect for you and to give you a perfect information do subscribe my friends if you have any doubts feel free to ask in the comment section below stay safe bye bye